Lord God, that they will feel the overwhelming presence of the love of God. Come on, church. Lift your voice and call, talk to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Real quick, I want you to find your prayer partner, partner right now. Come on, real quick, find your prayer partner, brother to brother, sister to sister. Come on, in the name of Jesus, find your prayer partner. Come on, if you see somebody standing by themselves, amen, why don't you go and say, why don't you join our group? Come on. Come on, come on. The Bible says where two or three are gathered together in his name. He said, there I will be in the midst. Come on now, I know we got at least two or three gathered together. Come on, I've come to tell you right now that as soon as you begin to call on the name of the Lord, come on, you'll be standing in the presence of the Almighty God. He's in the midst of you right now. In the name of Jesus, come on now while you're praying. Come on, call on his name. Come on while you're praying. Come on, lift up your storm to God. While you're praying, lift up the thing that's distracting you to Jesus. Come on, lift it up. Come on and lay it at his feet. Come on, and then begin to lift Jesus up. Come on, the Bible says, when I, he said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Come on, I'm telling you, we're believing that God's going to draw some people today. He's going to draw hungry souls today. Come on, he's going to draw them near to his precious bleeding side. He's going to draw them near to the cross. Hallelujah. Come on in Jesus' name. Come on, come on, come on. Lord, we pray for the men right now, Lord. Lord, I pray, God, that you would help the men in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord, I pray, God, that you would relieve pressure and stress right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, I pray, God, that you would, oh God, relieve, Lord God, the stress, Lord God, from the, from the, from the issues of life, Lord. Lord, they seem to be weighing them down. Lord, I I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you would help them to stand upright, God. God, before your presence, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would help them to stand as mighty men of valor in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, God, for the women, Lord, of Zion today. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you would remove the pressure, the stress, Lord, if there be any that be falling under the pressure, Lord, I pray, God, that you will remove it in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, and I pray, God, that you will put a praise on their lips in Jesus' name. Put a praise on their lips in Jesus' name. Let the joy of the Lord be their strength. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, be lifted in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, saints. Hallelujah. Lift him up. Put your hands together. We're going to lift him up. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus lifted high, lifted high, lifted high. The name of Jesus lifted high in this place. You sing. The name of Jesus lifted high. Lift him. Lifted high. Lift him. Lifted high. Lift. The name of Jesus lifted high in this place.
the name of Jesus lift it high lift it high lift it high the name of Jesus lift it high in this place the name of Jesus lift it high lift him lift it high lift him lift it high the name of Jesus lift it high in this place oh hallelujah sons and daughters shall be saved shall be saved shall be saved sons and daughters shall be saved in this place sons and daughters shall be saved shall be saved sons and daughters shall be saved shall be shall be sons and daughters shall be saved in this Sons. Sons and daughters shall be saved, shall be saved, shall be saved. Sons and daughters shall be saved in this place. One more time. Come on, saints, one more time. Sons. Sons and daughters shall be saved, shall be saved. Shall be saved, sons and daughters shall be saved in this place. I don't know what to Release. Release your glory on us now. On us now, on us now, release your glory on us now, in this place. Release your glory on us now, on us, on us now, on us. On us now. Release your glory on us now, in this place. Release your glory on us. I hear the sound of the army arising. I hear the sound of the army arising in this place. I hear, I hear the sound of an army arising. I hear the sound of an army arising. I hear the sound of an army arising in this place. I hear, I hear the sound of an army arising. I hear the sound of an army arising. I hear the sound of an army arising in this place. Rise up!
Jesus, rise up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want you to release, release. Release, release your power. Your power. Release, release your healing. Your healing. 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 Release, release your power. Your power. Your power. God a great praise. We want him to rise up. We want him to rise up. Because you know what? We're going to call on his name. Is there another name that we can call on? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will call upon the Lord. I will call upon the for Lord. For he is worthy to be for praised. He is worthy to be praised. I will call upon the Lord. I will call upon the for Lord. For he is worthy to be for praised. He is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The Lord reigneth. Yes. Blessed be the rock. Then let the God. The Lord reigneth. The Lord reigneth. Yeah. Blessed be the rock and let the God of my salvation be exalted. I will call upon the Lord. I will call upon the for Lord. For he is worthy to be for praised. He is worthy to be I shall call upon the Lord. I will call upon the for Lord. He is worthy to be for praised. He is worthy to be so praised. shall I be saved from my enemy. The Lord reigneth. Rain. Blessed be the rock and let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord. The Lord Hosanna! 
I don't know what you come to do. 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 But I come to clap my hands. My hand. I come to clap my hands. I come to clap my hands. My hands. I come to clap my hands. My hands. I don't know what you come to do. 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 I come to give him praise. Him praise. 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 I come to do my dance. My dance. 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 I don't know what you come to do. 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 I come to give him praise. Him praise. 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 I come to give him praise. I don't know what you come to do. 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 There's only one. There's only one God. There's only one. There's only one.
one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, above all, through us all, and in us all. One God, one God we serve, one God we deliver, one God we worship, one God. Jesus. He sees all things, Jesus. He knows all things, He feels all space. He knows everything about us. One God. And his name is Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. The only wise God. Hallelujah. The only wise God. He knows our downsetting. He knows our uprising. He knows our coming in. And he goes our coming out. He's the only wise God. He knows us from the top. He knows us on our feet. He knows us in our heart. Hallelujah. The only wise God. There is none like him. There is none like him in all the heavens and the earth. He sees. He knows. One God. One God. tomorrow they're going to celebrate the Passover where we got grafted in. Isn't that wonderful? Hallelujah. No more chains holding us. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. He said, all power, all power, all power is given unto us. Hallelujah. All power. Hallelujah. Oh, God. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, Break every chain, break every chain. There is power, power in the name of Jesus. The matchless name of Jesus. There is power, there's power in the name of Jesus. There's power, there is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There's power. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain. An army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. Yeah, to break every chain. 
Break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There's an army rising up. More time, more time, more time, huh? There's an army rising up. There's an army. There's an army rising up. To break every chain. To break every chain. Every chain. Break every chain. Every chain. Break every chain. Every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Mark time. There's an army rising up. Come on, saints. There's an army rising up. Yeah. There's an army rising up. Yeah. To break every chain. To break every chain, 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 break it, break it, break it, break it. Ha! 
clap your hands, all you people. Shout unto the Lord with the voice of triumph. Clap your hands, all you people. Shout unto the Lord with the voice of triumph. Come on, saints, clap your hands. Come on, saints, clap your hands. Shout unto the Lord with the voice of triumph. We call his name. We call his name. Jesus. We're calling his name. Jesus. We're calling his name. Jesus. We're calling his name. Jesus. The matchless name. Jesus. The powerful name. Jesus. The wonderful name. Jesus. Magnificent name. Jesus. The only name. Jesus. The only name. Jesus. The only name. Jesus. The only name. Jesus. They can heal you. Jesus. They can save you. Jesus. They can deliver. Jesus. They can remove you. Jesus. They can and help you. Jesus. The only name. 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 Jesus. Come on, saints, give them praise. Come on, we called on the name of Jesus. We know that there's power in that name. We know that there's healing in that name. I believe in incredible God. What's an incredible name? Also, pr- say Jesus. 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 I love that name. Jesus. I love to call him. Jesus. Can't help but 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 call him. Jesus. The more I call him, Jesus. the better I feel. Jesus. The more Jesus. The better I feel. Jesus. What's that name? Jesus. Shout that name. Jesus. Praise that name. Jesus. Praise the name. Jesus. 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 I love the name. Jesus. I love the name. Jesus. 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 Come on, put those hands together. Come on, God wants praise in this place. Put those hands together. Come on, put those feet on the floor. Why don't you dance a little bit and just give him a thank you kind of praise. If he's done anything for you, if he saved you, if he protected you, if he touched your body, if he touched your mind, if he fixed your heart, you ought to be giving him praise. You ought to magnify, magnify the name Jesus. Come on, magnify. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, I just got to get it out, saints. Oh, sing that with me. I got. I I gotta get it out. I gotta pray. Do you have a Do you have a praise? I, I gotta praise. You gotta praise. I gotta praise and I gotta I get it out. I gotta pray. One more time. Do I have a witness? I, I gotta pray. Like I gotta praise and I gotta get it out. Well, if you gotta I pray, gotta if you gotta praise, hallelujah. You wanna praise him? Praise him. Praise
praise him. 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 Praise him, pick him up, 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 put him down, 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 pick him up, put him down. the Lord has done for me. Since y'all done praising, we can move on. Since the rule said I had a birthday, I'm going to give God praise for another year. Can we praise God for another day? That just another day that the Lord has kept me. He has kept me. I give him glory. I give him praise. Yeah. Cause the enemy did not try I give him glory. Yes. I give him praise. Yeah. Cause the enemy did not try I give him glory. Yes. I give him praise. Yes. Because the enemy did not triumph. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, can we have everybody stand to your feet? Hallelujah. The Bible says that he inhabits the praises of his people. That means that he loves to live and dwell amongst them that are willing to open up their mouth and bless the name of the Lord. And when Jesus, where Jesus is, there's liberty. Where Jesus is, there's deliverance. Where Jesus is, there's breakthrough. I don't know about you, but I got to, I need some things worked out in my life. So for that, I'm not going to roll all over the storm, but I'm going to open up my mouth and I'm going to bless the name of the Lord. The Bible says that everything that I breath Praise ye the Lord. Come on, sisters. Praise the Lord. Come on, brothers. Praise the Lord. Come on, preachers. Praise the Lord. Come on, organists. Praise the Lord. Come on, drummer. Praise the Lord. Come on, bass player. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, let everything that our breath praise ye the Lord. And when the praises go up, the blessings come down. Is there anybody that needs blessings? Is there anybody that needs some favor? I dare you to open up your mouth and just call on the name of the Lord. Give him some praise. Come on, praise him because he's good. I 
I said praise him because he's good. Is there anybody that's got the testimony that God is a good God? He's good on a Sunday morning. He's good on a Friday night. He's good when I got blessed with a new job. He's good when I got laid off from my other job. He's good all of the time. He's good in the morning. He's good in the evening. He's good in the midnight hour. God is good all of the time. Come on and praise him right now. Come on, we're getting ready to move forward. Come on, but I dare you just to praise him. Come on. I'm believing that God is going to do something today. I believe that the Lord is stirring some things up. Come on, but if you want God to stir up something in your life, you've got to be willing to pop the lid off of your praise. You've got to be willing to open up your mouth and just shout hallelujah. You've got to be willing to do something that you've never done before. You've got to be willing to lift your hands and say hallelujah anyhow you've got to be willing to pick your feet up and put them down because God is too good come on David dance in the presence of the Lord come on something happens when you recognize the king of kings and the Lord of lords is here and you begin to magnify him he'll step into your situation he'll take care of the stuff that you need taken care of at home but you're not going don't get anything from Jesus uh, sitting there like this. But you got to open up your heart, uh, lift your hands, uh, open up your mouth uh, and say, God, you're good. Come on, open up your mouth. No music. Just open up your mouth. Come on. Open up your mouth and just testify about the goodness of the Lord. Uh, come on, just reach way, way back. Uh, if you can't figure out nothing that he's done in the last week, uh, just remember what he did for you last year. Uh, just remember what he did for you 10 years ago. Uh, just begin to think about his goodness. Uh, come on, and I'm telling you something to begin to stir up. Uh, when I begin to think uh, of the goodness of Jesus, uh, and all that he's done, all that he did last year, all that he did 10 years ago, all that he did every day for the rest of my life, I begin to magnify him. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, that's it. Just for about 15 more seconds. Come on. Uh, we're trying to set the atmosphere right. Uh, come on, because I've come to tell you today uh, that there's some people that are contemplating uh, some life choices in the room. Uh, but I can emphatically tell you uh, that the devil is fighting them in their minds. Uh, but let me tell you something. Your prayers uh, and your praise uh, are beginning to shift some things in the atmosphere. Uh, there's some people that's bound up uh, that want to give their life to God. Uh, but they're so bound up uh, that they can't scream for themselves. Uh, but let me tell you something. Uh, it's something about when a born-again believer uh, opens up their mouth and begins to magnify the name of the Lord. Uh, it begins to shift things around them. Uh, there's people on, on the back roll of them. Uh, people sitting across from uh, that are broken down, that are busted and disgusted, uh, contemplating life choices. Uh, but can I tell you, born-again believer, uh, that your praise uh, of shift something on your road. Come on, I dare somebody uh, just to get a grab a hold of that revelation uh, and just begin to praise him uh, and say, you know what? Uh, I'm praising him for my role right now uh, because there's somebody that's bound up uh, that I'm believing that God is going to break some chains. Uh, come on, I'm telling you, somebody ought to say, uh, I'm praising God uh, for the role in front of me and in the back of me. Uh, I'm setting the atmosphere in my little circle. Hallelujah. Can't you just grab the person's hand next to you? Come on and just begin to call on the name of the Lord right now. Ah, hallelujah. Mm. Come on in the name of Jesus. 
Come on, I remember I was preaching in a revival uh, in the back hills of nowhere at a church uh, that was so bound up because uh, of the spirits that was plaguing that area. There was all kinds of people that came into the doors of that church. Uh, and I remember that night when we were in the hotel room, uh, there was a spirit that visited us next door in the mechanical room. Uh, and they began to chant and do all kind of devilish stuff all night. Uh, me and Sister Fields stayed up praying, calling on the name of the Lord. Uh, that next day we went into that revival uh, and it felt like, praise God, everything was bound up uh, and tightened up. Uh, but let me tell you something. We begin to testify uh, and we begin to push into the people of God. Uh, begin to pray and magnify God. Uh, can I tell you that the doors of revival uh, begin to break open because something begins to happen uh, when the born again believers open up their mouth uh, and begin to entertain the presence of the Lord. If you only knew uh, the type of ability that you have with Jesus uh, to shift the atmosphere on your job. Uh, you tired of your atmosphere on your job being ungodly. Uh, walk into your job saying uh, thank you Jesus. Uh, Lord I magnify you. I glorify you. Uh, I'm telling you that God will shift the atmosphere. Uh, amen. I'm a testifier at Indigo. I remember like it was yesterday. Uh, I walked into that job. It was crazy. Uh, it was all kind of ungodly stuff going on. Uh, but let me tell you something. When I left there, uh, one of the co-workers uh, that we baptized in Jesus' name, uh, they said you was a light every time you came into the room. Uh, they said people stopped cussing. Uh, people quit call talking about uh, per perversion and all kind of stuff uh, when you came around. Why? Uh, because when you understand the authority uh, that you have, uh, you can shift the atmosphere. Uh, I don't care what kind of devil uh, is occupying your workplace uh, or your community uh, or even is working right now in the in the congregation uh, but when the people of God uh, begin to lift their voice uh, and magnify the name of the Lord uh, let me tell you something uh, the Lord will show up uh, and it begin to push everything out Come on, that's it. Come on, I'm telling you right now that there are individuals right now that are in a valley of decision. And I'm telling you, we're just setting the atmosphere because I believe that when they walk out of here, God is going to do something in their life. When they walk out of here, they're going to be changed. They're going to walk out of here healed. And amen, you're just setting the atmosphere. You're helping loose the chains that God is about to break. Oh, magnify the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on now, I want you to open up your mouth real loud and magnify him. Come on, you can do better than that. Come on, I said open up your mouth and magnify the name of the Lord for he is good and his mercy endure forever. Come on, somebody, magnify him. Hallelujah. Before you make your way back to your seat, why don't you greet three people and tell them God's got a blessing with your name on it today. He's got a blessing with your name on it today. Come on, come on. If you need a blessing of deliverance, today is your day. If you need a blessing of healing, today is your day. You need a blessing of deliverance and breakthrough, today is your day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. For all of our guests and friends, welcome to Bethesda Temple Apostolic Church. Amen. This is the house of mercy. The house of mercy. If you need mercy, you came to the right place. Amen. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. We believe that God, amen, has deemed and ordained for this place to be a special house. It's not the only house. 
but it surely is a special house. Amen. As this is one of the churches, amen, that I believe, amen, is ripe and ready, amen, to be a beacon of hope, amen, and a light to a dark and lost world here in the end times, amen. And I'm thankful just to play a small part, amen, and I want to continue to commission, amen, and petition everybody, amen, that is a member of Bethesda Temple, amen, to join, amen, the mission that God has us on. Amen. Because we believe that God has, amen, given us a great task in reaching our city and region. Amen. But we believe that God, amen, is supplying, amen, the resources, amen, and the bodies, amen, to do so. Praise God. Amen. That means, amen, that there are some individuals that I know that is gifted and highly anointed that are sitting on your gift. But turn and tell your neighbor, it's time to get up. Amen. Just in case they didn't hear you, amen, turn and tell the other one next to you. Tell them it's time to get up. It's time to get up, amen, and be about your father's business. Praise God. Amen. Because the Lord is soon to return. Amen. As our officials come forward, amen, we're getting ready to take up our offering. Amen. Amen. Just, amen, a couple of quick announcements that I want to personally make. Amen. This Tuesday, we have a special guest speaker, as we also have a guest speaker here today. Amen. Elder Elbert Harris is here with us. Praise God. Amen. He is highly anointed of God. Amen. A great friend of mine. We've known each other for a long time. Amen. And to see what God is doing in his life. Amen. Up in this great state of Amen. Michigan, even though he is a Hoosier. Amen. Once a Hoosier, always a Hoosier. Praise God. Amen. But the Lord has him up in Detroit. Amen. Michigan doing and helping out with the work up there. And so I thank the Lord for having him here with us today. And I believe that God has a word for us for through him. Amen. But also this Tuesday, we have a career church planner that's going to be here. Amen. During our Bible study service. Amen. You don't want to miss this service. Amen. As Brother Santi Amen. Jimenez, amen, has been, amen, a career, career church planner, has planted, I believe, five churches, amen, throughout the state of Florida, amen, and he's going to come, amen, and share the burden of what God, amen, has commissioned, amen, the apostolic church, amen, not just here in North America, but around the world, amen, and so I'm excited, amen, about that, amen, when I heard that he was in the area, amen, I, I reached out to him, amen, I've known him for quite a few years, amen, and got him on the schedule, so I thank the Lord for that. Amen. But also, amen, next week, amen, April the 30th through May the 3rd, amen, they can put the uh, the flyer on the board, our Apostolic Heritage Week, amen, conference is April the 30th through May the 3rd, amen. We have Elder David Hollis, who is a dynamic speaker, as well as, amen, Joel Urshan, who has been here, amen, for the fa past few weeks, amen, and so starting that Tuesday, or pa for the past few years, excuse me, amen, but starting that Tuesday, Tuesday, amen, Elder David Hollis will be with us Tuesday and Wednesday, amen, and then we will be finishing off the week Thursday and Friday, amen, with Bible classes from El El uh, Bishop Robinson as well as Bishop Griffith, uh, they are going to be doing the day sessions, I believe they're going to start at 11 o'clock, correct? 11 or 12 o'clock, amen, we will have that official time, I believe it's 11 o'clock, amen, and then we will be coming back here, amen, that'll be Thursday and Friday, amen, and then that, and then for those of you that plan to be here, amen, for the night services, which I hope and pray that it is everyone, because you don't want to miss these services, these are times of empowerment and impartation, amen, last year we had a wonderful time, amen, and I believe wholeheartedly that we ought to, amen, amen, join ourselves amen to something like this because amen this is empowering and strengthening amen us in the core doctrines of the faith praise God amen and so we will be concluding Thursday and Friday with Joel Urshan amen and so please make plans to attend amen we are excited about that amen let's stand to our feet I believe that everybody has gathered their offering tithe and offering we appreciate you all for amen still your continuous giving amen as we still do pastors a day today is pastors a day we thank you for all of you that plan to give towards that as well as if you desire to give by debit or credit card amen there is a swipe machine right out on my left your right amen as well as electronic giving they'll put on the board we'll do the tithers decree before I turn it over to the officials. Amen? Amen. Let's say it all together. Amen. Because I am a tither and a giver, 
The windows of heaven are open to me, and God rebukes the devourer for my sake. I am blessed financially and receive a blessing that I cannot contain. I do not worry about lack, knowing God supplies all my needs, richly and abundantly. Therefore, I am able to sow freely and liberally. And I choose to sow cheerfully, generously, and bountifully, knowing I will reap bountifully. I have in abundance every earthly blessing, every favor and earthly blessing. All my needs are met, and I abound in every good work. Because God loves to see me prosper, I am believing him for jobs and better jobs, advancements, raises and bonuses, sales and commissions, God ideas and strategies, debts paid off, expenses decreased, blessings and increases, financial freedom and breakthrough. In Jesus' name, amen. You're the hands of our officials. Something happens when I call your name. 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 Mountains move when I call your name. Mountains move when I call your name. Something happens when I call your name. Mountains move when I call your name. Mountains move when I call your name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everyone. We're going to go before the Lord in worship. Can we all stand to our feet and just love on the Lord? Hallelujah. Oh, God, we love you, Lord. There is none like you, Jesus. We worship. We adore you. Come on, all over this room. Let's lift our hands unto the Lord. Come on, lift up your hands. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands unto Jesus in this place. Come on, lift those hands into surrender unto the Lord. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. I love you, oh Lord, my strength. I love you, oh Lord, my strength. I love you. Oh, Lord, my strength, I love you. Oh, Lord, my strength, the Lord is my pillar, my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my rock. 
Sing that with me. The Lord is my pillar, my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my rock, and whom I take refuge. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation. He's my high tower. He's my high tower. I will call on the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised. I will call on the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised. I will call on the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised. I will call on the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Say, I will call. I will call on the name of the Lord. Come on, who is worthy to be praised? Who is worthy to be praised? I will call. I will call on the name of the Lord. Who is worthy to worship? Who is worthy to be praised? I will. I will call on the name of the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised? Who is worthy to be praised? I will call on the name of the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised? Who is worthy to be praised? I will call on the name of the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised? I will call on the name of the Lord. Oh, I will call on Jesus. Who is worthy to be praised? I will call on the name of the Lord. He alone is worthy. Who is worthy to be praised? I will call on the name of the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised? Who is worthy to be praised? I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. Oh, we love to call the name Jesus. At the name demon tremble. Every knee is going to bow. Every tongue is going to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. There is no power. Oh, and that is in the name of Jesus. There is no other Savior than the Savior Jesus. I will call. I will call on the name of the Lord. Oh, yeah. Somebody ought to call on Jesus in this place. I will call. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. Jesus, Jesus. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. I will call on the name of the Lord. Jesus, 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 it is my honor and privilege to introduce to you all, amen, all the way from Detroit, Michigan, amen, where he serves, amen, at Messiah's Temple Apostolic Church, amen, under Bishop Grace, and amen, Elder Elbert Harris, in Jesus' name. That clap was good for me, but let's give God a high praise. 
Come on, let's give God a high praise. Come on, is that the highest praise you can give him? Is he not worthy from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same? The Lord is worthy to be praised. You ought to be glad to be in the house today because if you don't praise him, then there'll be some rocks that will cry out. We don't need no rocks to cry out because when we think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for us, our soul cries out, hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I praise God for saving me. It is a pleasure to be in the house of the Lord one more time. I do give honor to God who's head of my life. I give honor to this fine pastor and first lady of this church, Pastor Barry Fields, and his lovely wife, Sister Shalani Fields. I give honor to one of our heroes, a living legend in his person, the Bishop Fields. God bless you. First Lady Fields, I've seen you in here. We were praise partners this morning during praise service. God bless you, First Lady Fields. I do, uh, my mother and my father, not my father, but my mother is here. Mom, can you raise your hand at me? She's in the yellow. God bless you. My siblings, they come with me as well. Isaac, my brother, my two sisters, Rachel and Simone, and their children. I give honor to them for coming. But more excited, I am excited to give honor to Jesus, who's in the house already. Can we honor Jesus now one time? <laughs> Hallelujah. I do believe there is a word from the Lord today. So I pray that you would pray with us. And then um, uh, in Michigan, where I'm, I live at in Detroit, I, I need a little feedback from the audience to preach with me, all right? You, you get with me, I get done sooner. <laughs> If you have your Bibles, go with us to Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. And though my wife could not travel with me this weekend because she is sick, I do honor my, my lovely wife. I call her my chocolate queen. She is my better half. So I love you, Angela. I'll see you when I get home. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. When you have it, say, I got it. If you don't have it, say, wait a minute. I hear some wait a minute, so we're going to wait a minute. I'm going to give you about five more seconds. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua. Amen. If you have it, say amen. Let's read Joshua verse 1 and verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Everybody say good success. Let's go to Joshua chapter 7. We'll read verses 20 through 26. Just a few chapters over. When you have it, say, I got it. Amen. You with me this morning? And Achan, or Achan, answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel. Thus and thus have I done. When I saw among the spoils a, go a godly Babylonian garment and 200 shekels of silver and a wedge of gold, 50 shekels weight, then I covet them and took them, and behold, they are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent, and the silver is under it. We'll stop right there. This morning I come today to preach to you a sermon topic, the difference between failure and success. The difference between failure and success. Father, I ask you now, God, for the grace to speak your word. I ask for clarity of thought. I ask for the anointing that destroyeth the yoke. Father, this is your house. This is your people. These are your sheep, Father. 
Lord, somebody came here in the middle of failure and success. Father, I pray now that the grace of God, the mercy of God, would push them into a place of success and from a place of failure. Father, I pray now to give us dominion in the atmosphere over every foul spirit that would come to distract us. Lord, we ask you for your power, for your glory, and your anointing. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Everyone say amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. The difference between failure and success. The difference between failure and success. Brothers and sisters, in our text for today, the Israelites under Joshua had the promises of God that if they followed the word of the Lord, they would experience good success. Everybody say good success. They stood poised at the brink of the mighty city of Jericho, a seemingly huge obstacle, and imagine their trepidation, imagine their concern, imagine their thoughts. But God had a plan, a clear strategy for victory, and as they followed the commandments, God gave them the city. I want to let somebody know today under the sound of my voice that God desires to give you the city. Everybody say the city. However, just across the Jordan River lied another city, another story that we must consider when we look at the children of Israel. Brothers and sisters, after experiencing a mighty victory at Jericho, when the walls came down because of their obedience, there was another city by the name of Ai. And brothers and sisters, I believe Joshua and the children of Israel were confident because they had already seen the power of God. They had already experienced his mighty acts with Jericho that they were going to go towards the city of Ai and they were also going to take the city. But if you read in Joshua chapter 7, chapter 8, you'll find here that Joshua experiences his one and only setback with conquering the land of promise. And that was at that city of Ai. The question then that I would ask Joshua if I could pull him from history, was what was the dramatic shift between Jericho and Ai? As you read the text, the text becomes very clear that the main difference lies in the word obedience. Someone say obedience. Um, brothers and sisters, if you look up the word obedience, Obedience, it was signified uh, to, to hear or to listen. It carries uh, the, the mindset that I do what I hear. I don't just hear instruction, but I do instruction. I don't just hear the voice of God, but I follow the voice of God. I don't just read my Bible, but I practice what I'm reading. The Bible tells us in James chapter 1 and verse 22 through 25, it says, but be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he's like a man observing his natural face in the mirror, for he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man that he was. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it and is not forgetful here, but is a doer. Everybody say a doer 
a doer of the work, this one will be blessed in whatever he does. So we understand here that obedience carries a promise of being blessed. Mm -hmm. Being obedient to God carries a promise from the Lord that you will be successful. You say, Brother Harris, why did you read Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8, then go to James chapter 1 and read it uh, about obedience? Because I want you to understand that God does not change his mind concerning obedience. If obedience was required in the Old Testament, obedience is still required in the New Testament. Let me say that one more time. If obedience was required in the Old Testament, then obedience is required in the New Testament. And if you're going to be successful in life, you've got to learn how to be obedient. Obedience is the difference between failure and success. I would ask you to examine your life and look at the areas of your life that you're not experiencing God's success. And when you examine yourself, I want you to look and see, am I doing all that God had told me to do? If I don't have healing, but God has promised me healing, am I doing all? all that I know to do. If God has promised me deliverance and I don't have deliverance, am I doing all that God has told me to do? If the Bible lets me know that I can have prosper, prosperity and I can be the head and not the tail, I can be above and not beneath, I can be the lender and not the borrower, and I'm not experiencing these things in my life, am I being obedient to what God has required of me. Brothers and sisters, I want you to understand here today that obedience is key to success. Um, but success itself is still a journey. There are a few things about success I want you to understand here is that number one, success requires that you put in the work. You cannot be successful without work. You can't be successful without effort. If you want to come up here and read the word and quote the word, you won't just get that by just opening the Bible and walking to the pulpit, but you have to spend time with God in your private place reading and rehearsing the word of God. Um, you have to put in the work. But number two, you must stay consistent. It's not good enough just to do the work, but you have to stay consistent in the work. Day in and day out. Day in and day out. That's why David said, I meditate on thy word day and night. Day and night. It's about being consistent with God. Number three, you got to put in practice. Mm -hmm. you got to put in practice. And we're talking about just using the example of the word. That means you got to stand sometimes by yourself and begin to quote the word of God. You have to stand and repeat it and rehearse it over and over again. Rather someone sees you or they do not see you. Rather somebody hears you or they do not hear you. If you want success from God, you got to put in work. You got to stay consistent and you have to practice. But there is a fourth thing, brothers and sisters, I want you to understand here about success. Failure is often a part of the journey. Sometimes you don't want to hear that sometimes you will miss the mark. Sometimes you won't make the right decision. Sometimes you will have a setback. Failure 
is a part of the process. Thomas Edison failed over 1,000 times before creating the working prototype of the light bulb. Michael Jordan was cut from his high school varsity team before he ever made it to the NBA and won seven championships. Walt Disney, some of you who watched that wicked mess with the magic and the trickery and the sorcery, y'all don't have to tell yourself this morning. You put your kids in front of it and you wonder why the kids are saying hocus pocus instead of hallelujah. But, but that's, that's free here. But, but Walt Disney himself failed over and over again before he got his big breakthrough and he opened up the world Disney parks and created Mickey Mouse. But if you look at the word of God, you'll see Moses. Moses, our great deliverer, Moses, the one who was drawn out of the river, the one that God had chosen and decided before his birth that he was going to deliver the children of Israel. Moses, even when he started to walk into his purpose and his calling, killed somebody. And he was a murderer and the fugitive of Egypt before he had his personal experience with God. Uh, if you look at Peter, Peter the fisherman, Peter the one who knew the seas, the one who stood with Jesus, the one that was in the inner circle, if you will, before Jesus was crucified, Jesus was before he was arisen to glory, Peter told Jesus, you don't have to die. You don't have to do this. And he denied him three times before he was converted and strengthened. If you were to look at Rahab, Rahab was a woman of ill report. She was a prostitute up in the city of Jericho before she made up her mind that she was going to hide those Israelites when they came in to spy out the city. You say, Brother Harris, why are you talking about success and failure? Failure and success. Because I want you to understand that failure is not final. Someone say failure is not final. I don't care how many times that you failed. I don't care how many times you have fallen down. The Bible says that the righteous man falleth seven times, but he gets back up again. I come today to tell somebody at Bethesda that you may have fallen, but you will rise again. Look at a neighbor and say, neighbor, failure is not final. So, brothers and sisters, I want you to understand here today that in our text, we're dealing in the book of Joshua. Everybody say Joshua. The book of Joshua tells, it tells a story of how Joshua succeeded Moses as the leader of the Israelites and how Joshua began to lead the children of God into a place called uh, possession. Everybody say possession. Oh, yes, brothers and sisters. Uh, I want you to understand here that Joshua was a type of Christ. He was a type of Christ because uh, his name meant salvation. And I want to let you know here that when God saves you. He doesn't just save you, but he wants to lead you into salvation in every area of your life. If you have a marriage, God wants you to possess your marriage. If you want wealth, God doesn't want you just to have money, but he wants you to possess your wealth. If you have a ministry that God has given you, he doesn't just want you to have a regular ministry, but he wants you to possess the ministry. Whatever area of your life, whether it be motherhood, whether it be fatherhood, whether it be entrepreneurship, or whatever God has designed for your life, God doesn't want to just let you have it, but he wants you to possess it. He 
didn't say rent the land. He said go and possess the land. I, I come today to tell Bethesda that God is releasing a possessing anointing on you that wherever your foot should tread, I will give you the land. Wherever your feet will go, I will give you victory. You can't be defeated with the power that you have down on the inside. Somebody say, go possess it. Uh, I'm going uh, to possess it. I, I'm not going to rent my victory. I'm not going to rent my deliverance. Uh, I'm not going to rent my healing. But I'm going to possess everything that God has for me. Is there anybody in here that can wave their hand at me this morning and say, Lord, I want to possess everything you have for me in my life. God, if you got joy for me, I want to possess your joy. God, if you got victory for me, I want to possess my victory. God, if you got anointed for me, I want to possess it. God has called you into a place to possess it. To possess it because the Bible lets us know that we are more than conquerors. More than overcomers. You, you will have some things uh, that you will have to overcome. But with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. Say with me. With God, all things are possible. With God, all things things are possible. With God, all things are possible. There's some things that you're facing right now. There's some mountains in your life that you're facing right now. There's some trials and some tribulations that you're facing right now. And you don't think you got enough, but I come to tell you that all things are possible to them that believe. Say, I believe God. I believe God. I believe God. I, I believe God. I feel your Holy Ghost. I, I believe God. Some, some of you in here are like the children of Israel. You don't believe him. It can work for somebody else, but it can't work for you. It can work for the preacher, but it can't work for me. I come the day to tell you and cast that spirit of unbelief and that spirit of doubt and that spirit of fear back to the pits of hell. I come the day to tell you that you can do all things through Christ that strengthen you. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, it's a question, it's a question of belief. It's a question of belief. Who has believed our report? And whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For God, here's John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Hebrew says, but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. If you're believing God today, I dare you to ask him for what you need. Ask him for what you need. Seek him for what you need. Knock for what you need. I want you to understand today's a question. It's a question of belief. And so, brothers and sisters, uh, we know that there was delay in the wilderness uh, because they did not believe God at his word. And some of you today are experiencing delay in your life because you don't believe God. It's not that you're not smart enough. It's not that you don't have enough education. It's not because you don't have the look. It's not because you don't have the resources. But it's because you are dealing with unbelief. Unbelief is what's causing your delay. Unbelief is what's keeping you sick and not healed. 
Unbelief is what's keeping you from not being delivered. Unbelief is the reason why your marriage is not working. Unbelief is the reason why your family is not together. But you got to believe. God said, if you would believe me today, I will expedite your blessing. I will fast forward your promise. I will give you a blessing that you don't have room to receive. Someone lift their hands to heaven and tell the Lord, I believe. No, you got to put it in your mind, put it in your spirit. Look to heaven and say, Lord, I believe you at your word. He watches over his word to perform it. The Bible lets us know that heaven and earth may fade away, but my word will never fade. He lets us know that the promises of the Lord are yea and amen. Lift your hands one more time to heaven and say, I believe. Uh, uh, you got to say it. I feel faith in the room now. You got to believe it. Put it in your heart. Put it in your mind. Put it in your spirit. Put it in your mind. I don't care what report you get from the doctor. I don't care what report you get from the bill collector. I don't care what report you get from Facebook or from Twitter. I come today to ask you, whose report will you believe? Uh, I believe God. Somebody say, I believe God. Mm. And so, brothers and sisters, uh, I feel my help in here. Y'all help me to preach in here. Mm. Uh, the Bible lets us know here that what good success looks like in the word of God. Mm -hmm. There is a success that we know in the carnal or in our carnality after the flesh. But there is a success that can only come from God if you're obedient obedient to his word and you believe him for his word if you were to read in the book of Joshua just read the whole book it's a good book to read you'll find here that there are some promises that God has made in the book of Joshua um, the first promise is that he promised them that he would give them inheritance of, of the land everybody say inheritance of the land he's talking about ownership. He's, he's talking about possession. And then he gives them a promise that I'm going to give you my presence and power. Mm. Ah, yes, yes, yes. When you have success from God, he will lend you his presence and he will give you his presence and he will endow you with power. And then he tells them that He's going to give them victory. Woo, my God, from heaven. He's, he's going to give them victory. He says, every place where your soul of your foot treads, I have given it to you. And I want to tell somebody in here, you've been standing in place for a long time. You, you've been standing still for a long time. But God told me to tell somebody in here, put your foot on it. Y'all ain't hearing me. I wish I had seven believers in here that would stand to their feet and begin to walk by faith in the places that God had promised you victory. Don't worry about who your neighbor is and what they're doing, but if you got enough faith to believe in God, I devil dare somebody put your foot on it and take it by force. God says, I'm going to give you victory. Everywhere your foot goes, victory. Victory in my job, I got it. Victory in my home, I got it. Victory in my career, I got it. Victory in my finances, I got it. Victory in my health, I got it. Victory with my children, I got it. Victory with my family, I got it. Everywhere I go, I got victory. Somebody shout victory. Some of you ain't walking. He said, wherever your foot goes, I give you victory. Why don't you take a step by faith? I walk by faith and not by sight. I'm not walking by what I see, but I'm walking about what the word says. Because his word is a light to my feet and a lamp to my path. I got victory. I got victory. I got I 
feel victory. High five a neighbor back to your feet and say, I got victory. Y'all didn't say like you got faith. Shout, I got victory. Oh, no, you got to say like, I got the victory. I got the victory. I got the victory. I see it falling right now. I see victory falling down right now. It's raining victory everywhere that you go. It's raining victory. Oh God. Woo. He's promised you victory. I feel the Holy Ghost. Raise your hand right now towards heaven and begin to praise him for the victory. Praise him like you already got the victory. The battle don't belong to you. The battle belongs to the Lord. All you got to do is believe it and receive it. Believe it and receive it. Believe it and receive it. I feel the Holy Ghost. We almost there, y'all. I feel like having church in the house of God today. Woo, glory to God. And so, haya. He commando who said, I must say, I said, who could be a man? The asset, I suppose, Samanda. He commanded a man who said, I need somebody right now to claim your victory with your praise. If you believe God gave you the victory, then you ought to praise him. As you praise him, victory is coming to your house. As you praise him, victory is coming to your job. As you praise him, victory is coming to your health. As you praise him, victory, 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 victory. Ishaman. Hosetaman. 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 I didn't, I'm not giving you the victory. God is giving you the victory. God's going to do it. Not me. God's going to do it. And he can do anything but fail. Somebody who again shout victory. Huh. You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. Whoo, Shama. Somebody put it one more time. Somebody say victory. Victory! Victory! Yee. In fact, look at a neighbor and say, neighbor, by the time you get home, victory is answering the door. By the time you go to work tomorrow, victory is answering the door. Before you go to the hospital, victory is answering the door. I feel your Holy Ghost. And so we know we got victory. If you obey God's word, he said, I'm giving you victory. He said, if you do what I told you to do, he says, I'm going to give you victory. If you walk in my commandments, I'm going to give you victory. If you obey me at my voice, I give you victory. If you do what I called you to do, I'm giving you victory. Look at somebody one more time and shout victory! Put your foot on it one more time and shout victory! What was waiting on you? God is releasing. What you've been praying for? God is releasing. What you've been hoping for? God is releasing.
Ah, yes, brothers and sisters. The Lord sent me from Detroit, Michigan just to announce you got the victory. You got success. You got it. And so, brothers and sisters, go ahead, Lord, have your way. I'm just putting my things on that I need God to work out. I'm just putting my feet on some things that I know I got victory over it. There's no weapon formed against me that shall be able to prosper because I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. Greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. I got it. I got it. I got it. In the name of Jesus, do it. In fact, grab a neighbor right now. I feel the Holy Ghost. Grab somebody right now. Begin to pray for them. We're going to push in the spirit. We're going to push right now. Grab somebody and start praying with them. Pray with them. Pray, pray, pray with them. Father, we thank you for your goodness. Father, we thank you for your mercy. Father, we thank you for your grace. Lord, you promised us to give us victory. We cannot be defeated. So God, take your place. Take your place, take your place, take your place. Take your place, take your place, take your place. Take your place, take your place, Lord. Take your place, Lord. I'm not in the bottom. I'm not beneath. I am not a failure. I did not lose it. But you're giving me the victory. I want to preach my message, but the Lord says, Stop right there. Come on, no shit, da man, see he too. Kosata da man, de shit, da man, see. Anybody right now that's facing a battle right now, I need you to come to the front. You know that God has promised you success. You know that the Lord has been telling you what he's promised you. You've been reading the word day in, day out, and you have not seen the results you've been looking for. God said, come to the altar right now. He says, if you will come to me and be obedient to my word, be obedient to what I told you to do, he says, I'm going to pour you out a blessing that you don't have room to receive. Press down, shaken together, and running over. Why don't you receive what God has for you? Why don't you get what God has for you? Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. And when you come to the altar, I want you to have in your mind the victory that God has given you. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. In the name of Jesus, I break every bondage, everything that will stop her from receiving the victory. Father, you made us victors. God, we're more than conquerors. Satan, man, so called. He said to the man, he come under the bus. Raise your hands right now. Raise your hand. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. In the name of Jesus, I command victory in her mind. 
in the name of Jesus. I command victory in her spirit. In the name of Jesus, I command victory in her soul. Father, everything that has hindered her, everything that has blocked her, we bind it in the name of Jesus. We bind it in the name of Jesus. Give her victory. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's it, that's it. He's giving it back to you. He's giving you victory. In the name of Jesus, I command victory from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Father, do it. Do it, Jesus. Give her victory now. Victory, 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 victory. Come on, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we got the victory. In the name of Jesus, victory, 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 victory. Healing now. Healing flows from the top of her head. Healing flows to the sole of her feet. Strengthen her right now. In the name of Jesus. He he commando sete ya man sata. He kanana man so soto. He kanana man se he sata. Father, you called him to be the head and not the tail. Father, you told him to be above and not beneath. Father, you told him that he's a king. He's a royal priesthood. He's a holy nation. Father, give him victory right now. Everything that's come in his life that has tried to stop him. Father, give him victory. Victory in his feet. Victory in his mouth. Victory in his hands. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, fill him again with the Holy Ghost. Yeah, it's on you. Speak. Speak. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speak. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speak. Speak in the name of Jesus. Fire falling in the sanctuary. Fire is falling in the sanctuary. Fire is falling in the sanctuary. Fire, 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 fire. Wow, fire. Shake that up, don't Fire. Burns every chain. Fire burns every demon. Fire loose, 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 loose. Sente shotoko saba. Hasata na man se heto hose. He kana na man to hose tada basa. He kama se sete na man se. Hosoto bo hose. He kama do hose to. Get tete na man se hete. He can't have a man say his up. In the name of Jesus, I command every spirit, I command every foul spirit to leave her. In the name of Jesus, leave. You got to go. Every block, every bondage, loose, loose. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
do it, Lord. Finish it, God. You are finishing, God. You are victorious, God. You never lost a battle. You never lost a battle. But you give us a victory. The victory to overcome. The victory to do the apostle. Victory, victory. Victory, victory, victory. Victory, victory. Victory, victory in the name of Jesus. 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 Victory in the name. Victory. Victory. I speak victory to her. The blood of Jesus has made her victorious. The blood of Jesus makes her victorious. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus cleanses her mind. The blood of Jesus cleanses her spirit. The blood of Jesus cleanses her soul. Every sin committed, we come into alignment with the word that we forsake our sin and we confess the Lord Jesus in our heart. You shall save her. Save. Loose. 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 Loose her now. Loose her now in the name of Jesus. She's free. Who the Son has set free is free indeed. Free indeed. Free totality. The bonds and chains are broken in the name of Jesus. Pull on me. Pull on me. Pull victory. In the name of Jesus, I release victory in her life. He cut out that man say, Hey, he'll tell He cut my He cut my nose. Victory, victory. He had taken it to host. If you've never been baptized in the name of Jesus, I need you to come to me right now. I don't care who's on the floor crying, who's hollering. Come to me right now. If you want to be baptized in the name of Jesus, it starts right there. Come, 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 come. If you've never been down in the water in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins, come, 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 come. If you need a feeling of the Holy Spirit, come right now in the name of Jesus. If you've never spoken in tongues, as the Spirit of God has given evidence, come. The victory starts with salvation. Victory in your life starts with salvation. I feel victory in the room. I feel victory in the room. And if I can just get 10 people to praise them, I'll make one. So I need nine more people to praise them right now. If you believe that victory is already yours, I need you to put your hands together, put your feet on the floor, and give God a praise. One, two, one, two, three, praise him. While you're praising him, victory is falling. While you're praising him, victory is falling. Victory is falling for those who are praising him. For those who are praising them, victory is falling. Victory. Victory in the name of Jesus. 
name of Jesus. Uh, victory. That's it. 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 Oh, shut. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speak to me your language. Speak to me your language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Victory. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. In the name of Jesus. Come on, I need everybody just to begin to pray right now. Come on. Come on, I need you just to begin to pray right now. In the name of Jesus. Come on, everybody, I need you just to begin to pray right now. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. I need some believers to begin to pray right now. Come on. Come on in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. If you've never been baptized before, come on. Come on. I'm telling you, the water's here. We've got ministers here. Come on, and we're willing to baptize you in the name of Jesus. Come on, for the Bible says that there's no other name, amen, given among men whereby we must be saved. Amen. Listen, they were baptized in Acts 2.38. They were baptized in Acts chapter number 5. They were baptized in Jesus' name in Acts chapter 8. They were baptized in Jesus' name in Acts chapter number 10. I know, that, amen, there are some circles and some places that, you, that you, where you would go. Amen. And they'll say that the name doesn't matter. Amen. But listen, the Bible says whatsoever you do in word or deed, do it all in the name of Jesus. Amen. So let me tell you something. Amen. If the word says the name matters, amen, then we ought to believe that the name matters. Praise God. Listen, amen. The Bible says, amen, when they stood up amongst, amen, those that were outside of the 3,000 souls that were saved, uh, amen, and they were pricked in the heart. The Bible says, uh, amen, that Peter told them that they ought to repent of their sins, uh, amen, and he commanded them to be baptized in Jesus' name. Let me tell you something, my friend and my brother, amen, the sinner's prayer alone is not what's going to save your soul or deliver you. Amen. But if your sins, amen, are still upon you, praise God, you got to go down in Jesus' name. That's the only way your slate is going to be clean. You got to go down in Jesus' name. When they call on the name of Jesus, then the blood of Jesus is applied to your life. Amen. The Bible says where there is no shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. Let me tell you something. When the name of Jesus is called, that blood blood that was shed on Calvary that the G, the GT Haywood amen talked about and he said the waves are sweeping over us praise God that same blood amen comes in as a plot to your life amen let me tell you something if you need to go down in Jesus name today is your day we got one that's getting ready to go down in Jesus name listen don't let this moment pass you by the Bible says the day you hear my voice he said hard and not your heart let me tell you something. Tomorrow is not promised to any of us. Any of us. That's the reason why every opportunity you've got to, to get your life right with Jesus, you don't have another second to waste because you can, amen, lay your head down to sleep tonight and not wake up tomorrow. I'm not trying to scare nobody, but let me tell you something. Just in the last week, I've heard of individuals that I'm quite positive that they didn't feel like this week was going to be their, their last 
last week. Uh, but listen, they laid their head down uh, and they didn't wake up again. Uh, amen. They woke up one morning uh, and that day was their last day. Uh, that's the reason why the, G the Bible says, uh, he said, the day you hear my voice, uh, harden not your heart. Uh, every day that you get up uh, is a brand new day of mercy uh, to get it right with Jesus. And I've come to tell you today uh, that today is your day uh, to make your calling and election sure. Can we just begin to talk to the Lord right now? Come on, I want every person to begin to talk to the Lord right now. Come on, I'm telling you, there are people that are in a valley of decision. Amen. Maybe you've already been baptized in Jesus' name, but there are things in your life that you know is not pleasing to God. Let me tell you something. Jesus said, as a tree fall, amen, that's how it's going to lay. So let me tell you something. If you die in sin, you're not going to wake up to see Jesus. But if you die in, in sin, you will be like the rich man that lifted up his eyes in hell. Let me me tell you something. Uh, people don't like to hear about hell, but hell is just as real uh, as Jesus and heaven are. And let me tell you something. Uh, you've got to get your life right with Jesus uh, because before you take your last breath, uh, if you take your last breath in sin, uh, let me tell you something. You're not going to wake up uh, and hear him say, well done thou good and faithful servant. Uh, you're going to hear him, hear him say, uh, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. Uh, I don't know about you, uh, but I want to make sure that when I take my last breath uh, that I hear him say, well done, uh, thou good and faithful servant. Uh, so whatever I, it, it is in my life uh, that's holding me back from getting a hold of Jesus uh, and walking up right before him, uh, I'm willing to do it. I don't know about you, uh, but I don't want to make amen. I don't want to leave this world uh, without my calling and election. Sure. Is there somebody? I want you to stand to your feet all over the congregation. Come on, I want you to stand on your feet all over the congregation. Come on, we're getting ready to get out of here. If you're down here praying, I want you to continue to pray. Amen. But if you can hear me, I want you to stand to your feet. I want you to lift your hands right now. And I want you to talk to the Lord. On the Bible says that life is but a vapor. It's here for a moment and then it is gone. Amen. Why don't you just after service go, amen, to one of the elders and they can tell you uh, about how fast their life has gone. Praise God. Listen, uh, amen. Life is happening so fast uh, that you can't even comprehend how fast it is. Uh, amen. I woke up the other day, praise God, uh, and I said, man, I am 36 years old with four children children. I've been paying taxes. Amen. So as long as I can remember, I remember, praise God, when I didn't have no responsibilities. But here I am, amen, 36 years old, praise God, got four children of teenagers, praise God, that's bleeding my pockets dry, praise the Lord, amen. And listen, life is not slowing down for me, and it's not slowing down for you either. That's the reason why you got to make your calling and election sure today. That's the reason why, praise God, after services like this, uh, you got to leave out of here. You got to say, you know what? Uh, I'm not going to touch the things no more that I know that God uh, is not pleased with because I want to make sure that if the day is my last day, uh, that I hear him say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Can you just talk to the Lord for a moment right now? I want you to examine yourself. You can't truly walk in victory knowing that there's unrepented sin in your life. You can't walk in victory knowing unforgiveness is in your life. You can't walk in, amen, victory knowing that there are offenses and bitternesses that are there. I've seen bitterness destroy people's lives. I've seen bitterness cause preachers to walk out of the doors of the church and never return. I've seen bitterness literally cause men of God leave their wives and their children to go, amen, and do whatever it is that their hearts desire to do because they were bitter about something that they didn't get their way on. Bitterness and jealousy and all those things. Amen. I believe somewhere in scriptures, the Bible, amen, talks about, amen, just about how rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. 
These are things that we cannot harbor in our hearts. You can't tell white lies. You can't tell black lies. You can't tell blue lies. You can't tell lies at all. You may think that it's the small stuff that doesn't matter. But Jesus said it is the little foxes that destroys the vine. Uh, Elder Harris, thank you for the word of God. We heard from heaven today. If you want to grab a hold of and walk in victory, you got to say, Lord, I'm getting rid of the little foxes in my life. Uh, somebody needs to say that to themselves. I'm getting rid of the little foxes. The little stuff that, that I don't think that matters, but it really does matter. I remember one time there was an old mother. She, paid, she, she was given too much change back from an individual. About a week later, she came back to that same individual. It was like, hey, you gave me too much. I just realized it. I want to give you this money back. And so they was like, oh, don't worry about it. And people were like, you really didn't have to do that. She said, yes, I did. I had to at least offer it back to them. Why? Because if I hold on to this after I've gotten knowledge of they gave me too much and I keep it, then I'm stealing we think it's the little things. She said it with so much conviction. Why? Because she wanted to make sure that when she took her last breath, that she heard Jesus say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Lord, this week, I pray Jesus that you will reveal the little foxes mm. and give them the strength, Lord, to turn. Because we want to make our calling an election sure. Clap your hands and give the Lord some praise. We've got one that's getting ready to be baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. Do we have any announcements? I don't think we have any announcements. Okay. Immediately after service, for those of you that are hungry, amen, you stand to your feet. We're getting ready to pray out. Amen. But for those of you that are hungry, our men's ministry, amen, has prepared a meal as a fundraiser, amen, as they're looking to raise funds, amen, for things that they desire to do this summer, amen. And so, amen, support the men's ministry, amen. Deacon Shirley, amen, was one of the ones that prepared the food, amen, and Deacon Shirley is a chef, y'all, he, he know how to cook, amen, and so listen, support the men's ministry in Jesus' name, let us stand our feet, amen, as we close out in Jesus' name, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for your word, God, we thank you, Lord, for the man of God that you sent to us all the way from Detroit, Michigan, Lord, we thank you, Lord God, God, for delivering the word of God to us. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, God, that this word, God, would be hidden, God, in the hearts of men and women, God, under the sound of my voice. Lord, I pray, God, that when the enemy comes in to try to convince them, Lord God, of disobedience, Lord, I pray, God, that this word will recall back to their mind. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, and remind them that they are victorious in you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray, God, a hedge of protection, God, from seeing an unseen danger around this whole congregation and household. In the name of Jesus, Lord, and we thank you right now. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name, amen.